Have you ever been watching a movie and you feel like none of this feels, what's the word, real? Like it's all kind of not making sense. Why can't they just show you something more anchored? And then you realize, maybe that's the point. That's Mandy. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? No? Just me? It took me a good 30 minutes to realize that this movie is actually shown from the perspective of our own delusions, our own inaccurate self-images. Mm, let me explain. It's like when you use a leaf blower, conjuring images of an enemy infested battlefield, your trusty minigun at your side, you've subscribed to a pack of thunder production cause God damn it, you love those guys Perfect. and you just ran out of bubble gum. But really, you probably just look like this. Still pretty cool though. Yeah, I think so. While in Mandy, it's demonic bikers summoned for your dark bidding for only the small price of some blood. It's my cult is better than your cult. It's the male ego. We're gonna get into this one a little bit later. And perhaps my favorite, it's this overwhelming feeling of self-importance. The feeling of being all that truly matters, the only people in this whole world. Because really, that's all we can ever truly know and it's kind of lonely. This actually segues nicely into our next topic, so we're just gonna jump right into that one. Dude, what's up with stuff on the, on the board? It's unrelated. Maybe let's just say that we love the movie. Mm -hmm. I really liked how there was lots of room for questions left. Yes. They yeah. didn't feel the need to explain like, this is red. He's a serial killer, and they live outside the city because of that. Actually, all we know is that Red used to, he's well proficient with weapons when he's uh, on his way to find Jeremiah and his cult uh, yeah. to, for revenge for He goes to, I forgot his character's name, but the actor's Bill Duke, which is, I mean, it was amusing to me enough because I recently just did a uh, analysis video on Predator, so seeing him again was actually kind of, I didn't expect him to see him in this movie, so that was kind of cool. You're ghosting us, mother I don't care who you in the world. You time. But yeah, Bill Duke is in his van and Nicolas Cage, uh, Red, goes inside asking for, what do you call it? The Reaper? The Reapers and a crossbow. So... Perfect condition, just like you left it. And he was holding it for him, so maybe Nicolas Cage used to be some kind of like vigilante or... Mercenary. Like maybe he, he was part of... Maybe he was part of the same crew in Predator. <laughs> Not important, it's just, it's like a nice little... Manny does this thing that I love. It paints a world beyond the frame. <coughs> Watch this video. <coughs> just who is Red, played brilliantly by Nicolas Cage, might I add. Is he some sort of ex-special forces type guy? Why did Mandy allude to the Grim Reaper approaching? Why do they need to live so far from civilization? And just how does Red know how to kick so much ass? This movie is so perfectly framed around Red and Mandy that by the time we see Mandy at work, it's almost jarring. It's like seeing a teacher outside of school when you're a kid. And what's beyond the frame is painted so oddly that by the end of the film when we see Nicolas Cage walking through a wasteland that looks like it belongs in StarCraft, we don't really mind. It kind of just fits. Speaking of Red, let's just quickly discuss Nicolas Cage's performance, just real quick. Just real quick. It's undertone, like a, a, a more restrained. It is a more restrained, Even, but he's not chill chill, but he's, he's not he's, like Nicolas Cage. He's the he's, bees. He's not, yeah, he's not pulling out the bees. No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! The only real time you see him scream like that is... The washroom. The washroom. He might do a couple other things here or there, but it's not. I don't have my eyes! My eyes! Ah! There's the scene where they do a close-up of his face and he cries. Is that an on-command cry? <laughs> I didn't know Nick Cage could do that. He's got the range. Oh. Beginning of the movie, when they're yeah. showing Red and Mandy's relationship, the way they interact with each other, there's that slight awkwardness. It's the Nick Cage awkwardness I get whenever he tries to play a normal dude. Knock, knock. We saw this in Color Out of Space or anything like that, and I think that's that's the point. No, see, I think in Color Out of Space, he he has his moments. Like there are certain times when Nicolas Cage can really pull out a uh, he like a shows us. He makes an axe. He makes an axe. What the heck? 
He yeah. makes an He axe. makes an axe. He has the skills. Just more questions. He's a, more questions. He's a blacksmith. Whoa, what can I do for you? A good cup of tea. You gotta let it, you know. You don't want to just hit boiling water. You want. You don't want to hit the tea leaf. Like, like making a good cup of tea. You have to all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's, let's dig into this croissant, as they say. That's not a saying. If there's any single thing that really stands out for me in this film, it's the dramatization of the male ego. Now, that's the word the director uses. In my opinion, ego is ego, but I digress. Some things that I've understood through a lot of introspection around the male ego and the heights and the depths and the depravity of it. In Black Rainbow, in this movie, I'm sort of obsessed with the absurdity and the delusion of the male ego and, and how it will go to any lengths to like get what it wants and no matter what, the, the, the consequences are. Mandy allows us to relate to very extreme examples of the male ego that honestly we probably experience in smaller instances of our day-to-day -day lives. In a very obvious way, this movie is as much about ourselves as it is about Nick Cage letting loose. Alright, yeah, let's watch a clip of Nick Cage letting loose. But real quick, if you're still here, please consider subscribing. Maybe hit that like button. Alright, yeah, roll it. Ah! <laughs> 